My name is Peter Diamandis. I'm the chairman and CEO of the XPRIZE Foundation and the chairman of Singularity University. I'm also the co-author of this book, Abundance, The Future is Better Than You Think, with Stephen Kotler. You know, most people think that the world is getting worse, that the life of their children is going to be less than they had, but the fact of the matter is the world is getting better at an extraordinary rate. And in this book, we provide the evidence to show you that this is happening. The fact that the human lifespan has more than doubled in the last century. That the average per capita income of every human on this planet has more than tripled. The cost of food has come down 13-fold. Child mortality on this planet has decreased 99%. We've reduced poverty more in the past 50 years than we have the past 500 years. We really are living into an extraordinary time where we're soon be able to meet the basic needs of every man, woman, and child on Earth. We also talk about, in abundance, the four forces driving us towards this extraordinary planet. The first force is exponentially growing technologies. Things like computers and network systems, AI and robotics, synthetic biology, digital medicine, things that are enabling you and I and every person on this planet to be able to literally positively impact the lives of a billion people. The second force is the DIY innovator. That guy or girl who's empowered by this technology, who goes out there to solve a problem, who says, I'm tired about complaining about it, I'm going to go and fix it. And DOI innovators are an extraordinary force. The third force is the techno-philanthropist. Today, there is more wealth in the hands of young individuals than ever before. And these individuals, creating their wealth in their 20s and 30s, have come to life in a very socially responsible time, and they're using their capabilities, not to build buildings to their names, but to slay and to solve many of our grand challenges. The fourth force is the rising billion. Do you realize that today a Maasai warrior, warrior in the middle of Africa on a cell phone has access to better mobile comm than President Reagan did? And if they're on Google, they've got access to more information and knowledge than President Clinton did? They're living in a world of information and communications abundance. We're going from 2 billion people on the internet in 2010 to 5 billion people by 2020. 3 billion new minds are plugging into the global conversation. So we talk about these facts. What will these 3 billion new minds want? What will they create? What will they invent? What problems will they solve? There will be a huge economic influx from their minds and their work. So my mission, Stephen's mission in writing this book, is to change the global conversation to give you the facts and the figures, to show your friends, your family, your coworkers that we are literally about to create and living into a world of abundance. I would love if you'd buy this book, support this change in mindset, tell your friends, but most importantly, convince yourself and figure out what you can do to help create this world of abundance because once we get there, we're living in a transformed time. Thank you.